Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm sharing with you our easy and simple teriyaki bowl. This is the perfect weekday dinner because literally it doesn't take very long to make up. It's pulling ingredients of whatever you have on hand and making a really easy sauce. So it's Monday evening. I literally just got off work. I need something that is going to be quick and simple. I have a board meeting tonight. I have to film this video and get it out. Life's busy. So this is always my go-to easy recipe, so I'm really excited that it's today's recipe video for you guys. I literally change out whatever vegetables we have on hand and just do a clear out of the fridge. So tonight I have some carrots that I've ribboned. I have some baby bok choy. I had a yellow bell pepper and I have some broccoli and I just chopped it up and we're going to water saute that really easy and simple. So whatever vegetables you have on hand, I usually try to make it colorful. I change it out. Sometimes there's cucumbers. Sometimes I put cherry tomatoes in this. Sometimes I put um, zucchini. Really, it's whatever you have on hand. And so, you know, this beautiful amount of vegetables is ready to go. I'm just going to water saute it. And then too, another thing I always do when I make these dinner bowls is I think about um, what kind of, you know, plant-based protein source I'm going to have. And of course, that's going to come in some bean form and or lentils. And so tonight I have some sprouted tofu. Now, you can use, you know, chickpeas that you have. You can use um, lentils. You can use uh, anything that you like. I just have tofu on hand tonight. We've done this with edamame. You could do tempeh. Like I said, you can do brown lentils, whatever whatever you'd like to have ready to go. And so this generally makes around two really nice servings. And a tip, if you get tofu or have it and want to use it for this recipe, like I said, you can use whatever bean you like or lentils. Um, I really like buying them in the packages that kind of have two two servings that they've cut down instead of a big giant block. This just lets it be a little bit more portion control, especially for us that only have two of us living here um, currently. So I like Trader Joe's does this, some other companies do, but if you can find the little um, blocks, then that way you can cut, save half of it for another time, and then you're only working with like half a block of tofu, that kind of works out nice. So I've done that. I have one kind of one of those blocks ready. All I've done is cut and drain off the, the excess liquid. I don't pat it or anything. This is extra firm tofu or firm tofu. Either one works. I'm just going to let the extra liquid, it's totally fine if some gets in there because actually we're going to steam the vegetables and so I don't want to pat it dry. So I have mine here with clean hands and yes this is my dinner I'm not sharing with anyone else besides my husband um, so it's okay if I touch it I'm gonna crumble the tofu this is the best way of kind of breaking it apart you can also cube it if you wanted to but like who has time for that I'm already spending more time than usual making this video so I'm just gonna crumble it with my hands and what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna let the liquid kind of cook up the vegetables as well. Like, couldn't get any easier. So like I said, you can change this up. You can put whatever beans or legumes you want. We've done canned beans that I've rinsed. We've done cooked beans that I've made in my Instant Pot. I've done lentils before. And really, we're just going to saute everything until it's nice and um, steamed through. Another cool thing is that you could do half of this raw vegetables, half of it cooked vegetables. You could put spinach that you saute, literally play around whatever you'd like is my point. Make it work for whatever you have on hand. You don't have to make an extra chip. It's really an awesome go-to. So I have tofu, broccoli, a bell pepper. I have baby bok choy and carrots in here. I'm going to clean off my hands. We're going to cook these down. I also pair this with some kind of cooked grain because again, I'm thinking about my, you know, plant-based protein, which is from a bean source. We have our vegetables, and I also want to have a grain for dinner. So I have some bulgur wheat that I've just cooked up ahead of time, and you can, again, cook up one serving or two servings of that and add this to this dish, depending on, you know, your spouse or if you have more than one person living with you or if you just want to make it for yourself. Like, there's lots of options. So I do have a cooked grain that we're going to add in at the end and just kind of reheat with everything but this is such an easy dinner, I'm telling you, it's not gonna take very long. 
So let me go wash my hands. I'll be back. Let's cook this up. Then we'll make this sauce and dinner will be ready. So easy. And again, all of that liquid from the tofu is really gonna help steam. I do have some water that I have kind of on standby if anything starts to stick, but generally it's pretty, pretty easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this. It doesn't have to be beautifully uh, quartered like I did just to show you guys at the beginning. And then play around with whatever you like, whatever vegetables your family likes. That's what we do. I just kind of switch it up so this recipe never gets boring. And it's gonna cook down a lot. You can do kale, you can do collard greens, whatever, like other greens you wanna put in here, or vegetables, we always go to this. All right, kind of incorporate and mix everything together. And I want the broccoli and the baby bok choy to get like a really vibrant, bright green color when it's um, steamed. And also, you know, you want everything to be softened. So that's kind of the point of cooking. This takes a couple minutes just to work through. You also could season this with whatever spices you like. I'm gonna leave it just as it is because we're gonna add a teriyaki sauce that I'm gonna make in a minute that's really kind of potent. But if you wanna add some like red pepper flakes or anything to make this a little bit of heat, that's a really great point too. I love this meal because it's just so easy. After your vegetables are softened, you'll notice it cooks down quite a lot. And you can turn off the heat, set that aside. We're gonna make the teriyaki sauce. Again, this recipe is so fast and simple, it doesn't take long. So in a blender, I'm gonna mix together a couple ingredients and make a really quick teriyaki sauce. Now this serves two people. You can double this recipe or triple it if you want a lot of extra. Okay, first ingredient is vegetable stock, half a cup of that. I also have some rice vinegar. So I have one tablespoon of rice vinegar. I have white miso, which is our salt substitute. If you don't have white miso, you can of course leave this out, but it's one teaspoon. One pitted date, I'm using a medjool date here, so it's a good size. I have uh, around one large clove of garlic. You can up the garlic or lower it, depending on your garlic preference. You also can use garlic powder if you don't have a fresh clove, easy. I have one fourth of a teaspoon of ginger powder. You can leave this out or add more. Again, it's your personal preference with the garlic and ginger powder. And I'm also gonna add in a little bit of tapioca flour or arrowroot powder. Now this is gonna help us thicken it in our pan after we've blended it. So I'm gonna add in two teaspoons. And everything is always in the description box of the videos down below and on our website with a free printable PDF so you guys don't have to take notes or watch what I say exactly. It's all down there for you. So check out the show notes down below. And this is going to help thicken it. So you can use cornstarch, tapioca flour, or tapioca starch. They're the same. You also can use arrowroot powder. Really convenient when you're doing a thick sauce. All right, the amount of that's in your blender should be covering the blade. It is in mine. If you have a very wide blender, you might wanna double this, but this is like the perfect amount. So blend this until everything is nice and smooth. And we're gonna move this to a saucepan and whisk constantly until it thickens up. Really simple and easy. If you just let this go in your blender, for me, it has never thickened up the amount that I like to do it on the saucepan. So. It's up to you, you can let it go. I know some people say in the Vitamix, when it thickens, if you let it go long enough, it will. It's never worked for me, I've tried, okay? So we're gonna blend it and move it over to a pan and set this guy aside and we're gonna be eaten in a matter of, matter of minutes. At this point, you wanna taste it. If you wanna tweak anything with the amount of rice vinegar or dates, this is the time to do it. It's perfect for what we like. Again, you can play around with adding in red pepper flakes and making this a little bit of heat. You can play around with the ginger or the garlic amount, but this is really how we love it. And it blended perfectly in my Vitamix for the two servings. Again, you can double this recipe if you'd like. And for the thickener, 
use whatever you have on hand. If it's cornstarch, arrowroot powder, or tapioca powder, all of them work. So move it to a little um, saucepan, grab a whisk, okay. Again, this only makes two servings, so it's not a huge amount. And I find that this is really good because we just make it up before we're gonna serve it. All of, all of the vegetables and the grains really store well in the fridge, and so does the, if you wanna make extra sauce, but I just find that this is just easier just to whip up right away. Sorry if you guys can hear my dogs. It is super cold outside today and very windy, so they're in with me. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna let it come to a kind of a bubble and whisk so it doesn't burn, remove from the heat, and it's done. It doesn't take very long. I have it on medium high. It's gonna like activate the, the tapioca flour or the arrowroot or cornstarch, whatever thick Mary you use, and it's gonna get really delicious. So again, play around with the sauce, play around with the vegetables, add in different beans and grains, different whole grains. We're using bulgur wheat. We've done this with soba noodles before. Um, we've done this with, you know, you can use any kind of whole grain that you like. Faro is great with this. Really, it's such an easy meal and I adore it. We have this at least once a week and so I'm really excited to share it with you guys at home because I know you guys are busy and this is really awesome because again, you don't have to make any special trips. Most of these ingredients you have on hand or you can change it up and your kids can get involved. You, they will love it. Put the vegetables that they like in it and that will get them to eat it. We also can put some sesame seeds as a finisher. I like to do that just on top, sprinkle some. It's optional, you don't have to, but it just adds a little bit of fun to the dish. So I'm gonna grab some sesame seeds out of my freezer once this guy's finished. But you'll see whenever it starts to thicken, it starts to bubble slightly, and then you'll be able to tell as soon as it thickens, you can remove from the heat. We're gonna add it on top. I'm gonna grab my bulgur wheat, kind of reheat everything, add the seeds, and dinner's done. Because again, it's busy on Monday, and I don't have time to be in the kitchen all night. Really, as soon as it starts to bubble, I kind of, that's good enough for me, it's thick enough, that's perfect. So I'm gonna take some photographs so you guys can see what it looks like up close right now. And we're gonna kind of just heat this, heat that with the whole grain that I cooked earlier, pour this on top. Like I said, we're ready to eat. So I put my vegetables back onto the stove top and I'm gonna add in the whole grain that I already cooked. It's cooked, don't put an uncooked whole grain, it should be cooked, we're just heating everything up. And you can cook as many servings as you wanna eat. I know for me, personally, one serving, which is around half a cup cooked, is perfect. My husband might eat a little bit more than that, um, but it just depends on what you need. Gonna heat everything up just so that everything is warm. Bringing it all back to life again. After you've warmed everything up, you can just go ahead and pour this on top. You can even let people decide if they want to use it or if they want to use something else, a different sauce. It really is up to you, but you can see it gets nice and thick. And you have dinner for two. So easy. I just like to really incorporate everything, get that sauce all in there. And then also, like I said, you can add red pepper flakes, put those out. My husband really likes doing that with this meal. I'm not so much a spice fan. And then I like to plate it. So again, this makes around two servings. have leftovers tomorrow if it's just you. I have some uh, sesame seeds that I just keep in the freezer. Specific, especially for this dish is generally uh, what we like to do and I like to just sprinkle them on top. Makes dinner a little bit fun, different texture. You can put some on 
the leftovers. And you guys have it. I'm gonna grab a fork and taste it, but it is so good. You guys are gonna love this one. All right, I'm gonna taste it. it. Smells so good. This is like such a great evening dinner. We're gonna go enjoy this. I hope you guys will check this out. Leave us a comment if you try it. Make sure you head over to the website. There's a free printable PDF. Lots of recipes on our website. There's so much to check out. If you sign up for our email list, um, you get a free recipe emailed to you. There's just a ton of stuff over there. So check out our website, which is linked down below, and our Facebook group. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I make whole food plant-based recipes every week, multiple times a week, that are SOS free and delicious that the entire family will love. All right, I'm gonna go have dinner. I'll see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.